Looking back at the project site in April 2015, it's hard to imagine transformation that would take place over the next 14 months. It is now June 2016. The substructure consisting of 12 piers, abutments on the Carolina and Talbot County side are all but complete. Salvaged marsh muck in a topsoil mix along with a combined 28,000 plus low and high marsh plantings with over 10,000 canopy trees, evergreens, and understory trees and shrubs will be placed in the critical area buffer on the Caroline County side. The Omega Trestle is still performing support duties as workers install the stay-in-place forms in preparation of the reinforced concrete, whose installation should begin in mid-July. The superstructure consists of 25-punch steel girders over the river, weighing nearly 3 million pounds, 35 pre-stressed concrete girders on the approach spans from the Caroline County side, weighing nearly 3.5 million pounds, and 30 additional specially steel girders weighing an additional 1.5 million pounds. It's the total weight of the superstructure to nearly 8 million pounds or 4,000 tons. As of June, the embankment is now in its third 150-day quarantine period. That will be followed by a fourth 150-day quarantine period and then a final eight-month-long fifth quarantine period. Over 1,700 plantings will be placed in the marsh muck along the Caroline County approach to the bridge. Girder number five is being hoisted into place as the connection between the Tulba County abutment and the bridge is established. The video has been compressed to save time. The choreographed precision movements position the girder in place with just a 32nd of an inch intolerance.
All five of the last girders on the east side of the bridge are now in place and workers install the intermediate cross forms. The Baltimore McLean's heavy capacity floating crane has finished its heavy lifting.